Hey everyone, Josh here with Classic Army USA. Have you ever wanted to see how airsoft guns were made? Well last month I was able to visit the Classic Army factory in Hong Kong and I wanted to share my trip with you. The process of an airsoft gun starts here. This section of the factory holds all the molds that create almost every part of an airsoft gun. From the large parts, like the upper receiver, all the way down to the smaller ones, like the piston. Because of how heavy these molds are, they've created a crane system that helps move them from one place to another. These molds are then placed into one of two machines. Depending on what material is being used, they will be put in either a metal injection mold or a plastic injection mold. These machines take raw material like this and superheat it to where they can inject it directly into the mold to create the parts needed. There are some parts that are not created using injection molds though. Some parts are made using a CNC machine to make precise cuts like these rail systems here. After the parts are created, they are then refined and cleaned. They are taken to this section of the factory where imperfections like metal burrs get filed off and then the part is polished so that everything is made to work as it should. After the parts are cleaned and refined, they are taken to the painting floor. Parts like these lower receivers are then airbrushed next to a machine that has a constant running water to help capture overspray. If you have much smaller parts that need to be painted, like these magazines, they will then be put onto this conveyor belt, which spins the magazine so that the painting process is at maximum proficiency. While the painting process is still going on, the internal parts are being wired and put together. The amount of gearboxes that I saw being made was incredible. After the painting process is completed, the lower receivers are then taken to be laser engraved. Once the engraving process is completed, the internals and externals are then installed and the airsoft gun is finally complete. The last step, and one of the most crucial ones, is testing and quality control. Every gun has to pass this section in order to be shipped to the US and sold to you. And that's the process of how a classic army gun is created. Thanks for watching this video guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.